First at 10, two people are arrested and charged in connection with a homicide in Lackawanna County. Good evening, I'm Aaron Levy. Anne Lurie has the night off. It comes just days after a missing persons report was filed on Sunday. Fox 56's Joshua Coulomb has more details from Scranton on the arrests. Police say they found 67 year old Walter Harmon dead in his home here on St. Ann Street, covered by a blanket and bound by his ankles. Now, Michael Sanitate is charged with criminal homicide and John Pringle is charged with accomplice to criminal homicide and unlawful restraint. Officers found both men in Harmon's home on Sunday while they were there for a missing persons investigation. The coroner ruled Harmon's death as asphyxiation. Sanitate's mother rents to the east side of the duplex but lives in a nursing home so it's unoccupied. Police say Sanitate knew Harmon and had attacked him looking for money. Authorities also say Sanitate invited over Pringle who helped restrain Harmon, and Sanitate continued choking Harmon until he stopped struggling. It is unclear in the police report exactly when the homicide occurred. Police say Sanitate at one point gave the house keys to Angel Berdicia, who broke into Harmon's home with Sanitate, then sold the stolen items at the pawn shop to buy methamphetamine. Berdicia was arrested last week after Sanitate reported the burglary. A family friend of Harmon heard about the burglary and filed the missing persons report since he should have been home. They said afterwards they saw drug users coming in and out of the home and were worried about Harmon. Neighbors in the area were worried about the constant police presence outside the home, but one officer told a neighbor there was no cause for concern. I haven't bothered with them either. We, you know, I mean, I haven't gone down to ask what the heck's going on, but you know. And then we found out yesterday that there was a uh, guy missing. In Scranton, Joshua Coulomb, Fox 56 News, verse 10. Both Pringle and Sanitate are scheduled for a preliminary hearing on the 26th and have been denied bail.